YouTube. I am Pinstar, and this is Pinstar Plays Reseteer, an item shop tale. Uh, so this is my first venture into uh, an older game. I, I wouldn't quite call it a retro game. It was made uh, back in 2007 uh, by Carpe Fulgar, and it is a mixture of a, uh, of a business sim and an RPG. Um, an interesting, an interesting, interesting take in it. Rather than being the hero of a sort of a Final Fantasy esque realm, you are the item shop keeper of a Final Fantasy esque realm. But this isn't made by Square or anything, so it's not actually Final Fantasy, but it uses all the same tropes. So let's dive right in. Uh, so uh, this is day two. I uh, jumped ahead a bit. Um, the day one is just a tutorial. We went to we went to a the wholesaler. We bought a couple of uh, basic adventuring items um, and other just general purpose goods. Um, have ourselves a little bit of money left in the bank, but we still have a fairly full su supply of uh, uh, items in the shop. Um, and yeah, we're still sort of at the tail end of the tutorial here. Okay, so the way the game flows is um, each day is broken up into a couple of different parts. Um, so they, it, time passes not in real time, but more in uh, just over time. Uh, so right now it's early morning. We have our shelves stocked. The stuff in the window, by the way, see how it's sparkling? It's not that these items are special, it's that they're visible to the outside. So people passing by who might be curious about the shop, these are the items they're going to see on display. So they're a little bit more likely to sell than these items. Um, that being said, people might come in looking for some specific things. Uh, and since um, it takes time to go out and get more money or get more items, and we don't exactly have a lot of money, um, let's uh, let's open our shop and do our first round of uh, of sales here. So you get customers pouring in. Um, they see stuff they want. You talk with them, and then you got to haggle. All right. So he wants the uh, the leather glove over there. Um, now you got to haggle it up. Two hundred's the base price. But we want to make a profit. Let's go for 120% uh, of base price. That's usually the level you want to go for. And he accepts it. Cash money in the bank. Level experience points. Now, there we go. And we sold the item. Now, yeah, let's see what else here. All right, another guy. He wants the worn sword. Base price of 200. Yeah, I st we didn't have a lot of money to spend. We only had a thousand bucks to invest in, uh, or a thousand picks rather, to invest in uh, um, in starting inventory. So the stuff we bought is kind of low end and, uh, uh, well, not not a high base price, but we can get up there. All right, we hit it. More money, more cash. Dang. Sometimes you get more uh, you get more people going in there. Now, do we want to fill the shelves with more stuff? Uh, do we want to put stuff? Do we want to rearrange that? Let's let's put these in the front here. Let's do another round. See, so see how it only passed one unit of time. So if we open the shop again, we'll get more customers flowing in. Um, and since we only sold like two or about two things last time, we shouldn't run out of inventory here. And we have enough to fully stock our visible things, so we should still get the same volume of customers, if not more. All right, what do you got? Raincoat. There we go. 300. All right, higher base price items. Go three, 360. There we go. Oh, hi there, little lady. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's 120. A bit less. Ah, she see she's haggling me down. Let's let's give her a little discount. One 112. There we go. Sometimes they'll press you for it. Sometimes, uh, and also, uh, different customers only have so much money on their person. All right, we're we're getting down to the dregs here. Uh, so I think it is time we go out to get more. 
So let us go. Now going out to go shopping for more does uh, take uh, more stuff. Oh, but there's the game is pointing me to something else. Yeah, the, the game is not just running your store and haggling with people. Let's go to the Adventurer's Guild. Now I'm going to skip this because I know what the Adventurer's Guild is. All right, so essentially what the Adventurers Guild is, is you uh, hire adventurers uh, to go into dungeons. Um, and you, uh, uh, basically you, you um, uh, they, they get items for you. And then you uh, you can stock them. So it's a, it's a way to obtain items, uh, potentially rare items, for free, uh, or at least no base price, and then you resell them for pure profit. Uh, of course, how well you do in the dungeon um, is up to you, and uh, it's not just a random chance. Uh, we don't have any items with us. You can equip them with the stuff that you buy, or if you can get them to get into your shop and buy your equipment, you not only get the sale, but you also can equip it themselves. So, no, but we don't have anything in there, but that's okay. Let's depart. The Hall of Trials. So, the lore behind this is, uh, well, yeah, they're going to say... Yeah. Essentially, you're, she and the fairy follow behind, but they can't be attacked. Only the, only the, the swordsman, Louie, here. All right, enough explanations. Sure. All right. That's... Yikes! Ow! What the heck? Yeah, these dungeons are procedurally generated and sometimes extremely unfair. There we go. Um, Alright, good. Our HP is back. That sucked. Be careful of these guys. We don't have a lot of. There we go. We don't have a lot of. Uh... Ow! Oh wait, that was their HP, not my HP. I was about to say it's like, oh my god, my ooh chest. Ooh, a common shield. Ooh, how do I uh, how do I press to equip that? Oh, that was a special attack. Game, what do I press to equip that? So I'm pretty sure I can do that. Well, I'll figure it out later. Oop, more trash. Oh boy. Yikes. Ooh, level up. Yeah, some of these chests have goodies in them. Some of them have traps. The gems, by the way, are not money. Actually, they're they're experience points. But everything's in there here is mo is money based. Come here, you little bastard! Ah, oh, bam! He's uh, he's rocking the crits today. Oop, goodies, goodies! A rusty dagger. Well, we can sell that. So even if the items are junk. That's fine because you sell them in the shop, and they're uh, they're they're pure profit when you do sell them. What do we got here? Sure, let's go to the next floor. Oh, this guy's a tough little bastard. What is it with JRPGs and slimes? I mean, really, why are they like the most Ooh, apple? Why are they like the most common low-level enemy? I mean, that's how you... Ooh. Worn sword plus one. Slime fluid. You know, this is, uh, <laughs> this is awfully uh, similar drops to uh, Stardew. Um, but yeah, this is how... <laughs> this is how you can tell the difference between a uh, JRPG and an RPG. In a JRPG, the, the low-level enemies are slimes, and in an RPG, a Western RPG, they're rats. Youch! I can see you hiding there, little bastards. There we go. Ow! 
Ow! Bastard. And we got an yikes! Oh boy! Glad I dodged that one. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, hi. Alright, I remember these guys having some tricky attack patterns and doing a lot of damage. Yeah, they, they have these like big rocket punches. You gotta be. Yep! Ugh. Yeah, don't let them. Uh, yeah, get perpendicular to you. Or they will hurt you. Goodies? Yes, goodies! Sandals! Come here, you bastard. There we go. Well, bam! Oh, I didn't kill him. Dang it. All right, let's see what we got over here. Oop. Oop, back at, oh, I didn't mean to open that. Ow, ow. Ooh. An ingredient of, of a nondescript type. Ow. Yes. Ish. Sort of. Kind of, maybe. No, did heap uh, heap to them there? Oh boy, uh, don't want to keep. Oh, two of these guys. That's not good. These guys can uh, these guys can mess you up. Oh no! So can those. So can those. Oh, I really wish I knew what button opened inventory. Thank you for that critical. I need a level up. Is what I need. Because, yeah, yeah, those little fire punches. You do not want to be hit by those. Come at me, bro. Giving me a little bonus for some uh, counter attack in there. Yeah. Let's not go charging into rooms in case we get more boulders. Ow! Dang it! I was even warning myself against it and I didn't react fast enough. Okay, um... Give me a minute. Ah, thank goodness, I found the button. Items. Uh, base price 300, let's eat. Oh, first off, let's equip. Oh, I guess we can't. Oh, I guess we have to equip those. All right, fine, I guess we'll eat the... Apple plus three. That's 300 bucks thrown away. Equipment. Let's get the uh, optimum equipment. Yeah, it gives us the best items that we're that we're carrying. Okay, back to full health and with better equipment now. That should be a little better. You want to stay diagonal to those to those uh, punchy guys. Okay, next floor. And he looks like he's pretty close to. Ooh. Hi there. Hello, oh, Mr. Tentacles. Powerful anti venom. Heesh. At least I healed up after uh, after that level up. Goodies, goodies. <laughs> Old muffler. All right. Well, if I have a if I have a car uh, that's in need of a spare part, uh, we've got that. Ooh, free hat. Free hat plus two. <laughs> yeah, you get little extra bonuses on some of these that make also. Ow. Crap. Oh yeah, these guys throw rocks. That's the other thing they do to you. They have longer range attack. Yeet. The fire punches hurt a lot worse than the rocks do. Oh boy. Yeah. Come on you. Come here. Just take you into a quarter and brutalize you and then waste a crit. 
Rox, you gonna come at me? Rox, I'm watching for you. Get away, back. Back, foul beast. Go back to your hentai. All right. Wanna make sure we, oh, no. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Rox. I guess we'll call it even. Yeah, you can stun lock these guys if you uh, get them pinned to a corner. Oh boy. All right, it's not a, ow. You can also only carry so much. So at some point you have to start prioritizing what you pick up. You can't just haul every literal thing back with you. There is an end to this dungeon, um, and you get a special extra bonus reward if you reach it alive uh, and finish the uh, end boss. So it is indeed worth it, but you have the ability to sort of, uh, well, bugger off if you, oh boy. Yeah, there we go. That, that uh, little circular attack is special. It does use up mana though. Walnut bread. All right, we can use that for emergency healing or selling. Another armor, more selling. Yeah, these are all goods we can stock in the chow shop and not have to buy from the wholesaler. Ow. Ooh, I think I blocked that one with our shield. Ow. Ooh, a thankful statue. Those are worth quite a bit if I, ow, if I remember correctly. This place is five. Oh boy. Ow. Yeah. Wasted a perfectly good ow crit. Ow. All right, you little bastard. Yeah, you do a little bit more. There we go. That's better. All right, still got to find the freaking door. Let's bypass these guys since these are respawns. Uh, except for you. Ooh, sandals. Ah! I am so glad that's not in Stardew Valley. Ooh, candy. You know, the little the little girls that enter your shop will like those. And a chestnut. Okay. Ow. And these aren't just items. Fl fl yeah. These aren't just flat up items. Some of these things you can use to like do crafting with to get better stuff. Phew. Next floor. All right. Looks like we are at the uh, at the end here. I forget if the first dungeon has a boss proper. Yeah. Yes, yes, big chest. Enough talking, more chesting. Wa-bam! Yeah, so basically, uh, he, he this this guy's a complete newbie, which is why we were able to pick him up for free. Um, so he was taking these Hall of Trials in order to get his license. So we helped this guy get his license and he helped us get some loot. So you scratch our back, we scratch your back, and all that good stuff. And let's take the door to four. The <laughs> door of return. Yeah, every five levels you have a chance to bail out of the dungeon because uh, you can't carry it all back if you if you die. Well, if you collapse ra rather. Right. 
Blah, blah, blah. All right, enough of that. Enough! More gameplay. All right. All the trials clear. And we, we almost completely filled our bag space here. 19 of 20. Not too shabby. I'd say, yeah, in that thankful state, yeah, 4,550. So that's our real, right, right, that right there, that's our star, that's our star goodie. All right, so gives us a little bit of a thing here. Gives us a little uh, score here, and yeah, we got all kinds of goodies. Um, so let's do another round of buying and selling. See if we can't get that other. We still have our old equipment here. Now, the, here's the thing. As you play the game, as things progress, the game gets more complex. People start coming in with more specific demands. People start ordering items. Items become suddenly a lot more valuable or a lot less valuable from week to week. There's a lot more complexities that the game slowly ramps into you. Oh yeah, and the, the overarching plot of this game is that she is freaking deep in debt to her, thanks to her dad. Her dad blew the family's money and sent the family into debt, and then the dad disappeared. So Tyr here is the uh, representative from the collection agency, helping uh, Restatet uh, to uh, sort of pay off her debt by opening a shop. So basically... The whole goal of the game is not to uh, not to miss a uh, a payment, uh, and the payments ramp up heavily. Your first payment has to be ten thousand, uh, but then it gets higher and higher and higher from there. Uh, and beating the game by hitting every payment milestone without missing one is really hard. Uh, I've never actually beaten the game under that. It gives you a chance to basically reset from zero if you miss a payment. Um, but yeah, let's skip this blah, blah, blah event. We want more gameplay, thank you. All right, so we're back day three in the morning. Um, let us stock our shelves. All right, let's get the, let's get the thing that we really want to sell. The thankful stage statue right there. Big time. All right, what's the next uh, most valuable? These powerful anti-venoms. Those are pretty good. Chestnuts. Candy's not bad. Rusty dagger, wooden bow, leather armor. Ooh, common shield. That's a good one. All right, let's get uh, let's get more common stuff here. We've got a chestnut here. A powerful envy venom. Walnut bread. You still want a good variety here. Uh, a worn sword, since we already sold one. Uh, a bow. Ooh, shoes. Definitely want the shoes. All right, and that's all of our shelf space. You can, you do later on have the ability to upgrade the shop. And actually how you upgrade the shop and how you decorate the shop also affects the kinds of customers that come in looking for different types of goods. So there's a lot of deeper strategy into this game than what we're seeing right now. It's more than just pick your mark up. Ah, it's the wholesaler. And he wants to buy... Uh, he wants to buy our shield. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, is that good? All right. Sweet. Cash money in the bank. Oh, I hope our adventurer buys one of our things. Yes, the adventurer is here. And all right. So if we sell him this, um, he's uh, he's going to uh, have it on his person next time we take him out on an adventure. And we get to still sell it. He doesn't have a lot of money. So we're going to... We're going to... Uh, Pose it to him at a lower cost. How about one thirteen? You can't. Re you can't really. Uh, you can't really haggle him too hard because he doesn't have a lot of cash. Dang it! Only two people again. No, that's all right. We still have. Uh, well, we already have sun sandals out there. Uh, let's put some candy out here and a dagger. Yeah, as long as you don't leave the store, you can sort of chain these here. And there's the rusty dagger. 400 base price. Uh, let's try 500. All right, bingo. Level up. Woohoo! 
Yeah, higher levels means you get to haggle more. You get more people buying things uh, before the end of a of a shopping period. So let's see if we get more than just two p purchases this time. Ooh, scrap uh, scrap plate. Fair enough. There we go. Just combo. More experience. All right. Yes, another customer. Sweet. Come on, old man. And he wants the candy. Old guy's got a sweet tooth. Nice. Yeah, the more items you sell right on the first try, the bigger your just combo grows. Ooh, all right, ooh, we're gonna get a fourth one. Nice. Dang. I was hoping someone's gonna to pick up that statue. All right, one sword plus one. And keep in mind, these are all freaking. Uh, these are all freaking pure profits here. All right, so we're getting a lot of old guys in our store. Yeah, so basically this is just telling us about the, uh, yeah, what you do when it happens. Alright, enough, enough blah blah blah. Yes, I know the basics! Uh, there are times when people will want to sell us items. So yeah, you, you ever been in an RPG where um, uh, you know you have some vendor trash and uh, you want to offload it to a vendor? Well, same thing here. Um, they can offer it. Now, obviously, we are not going to be paying uh, full price. We actually want to pay less, uh, pick it up for the cheap, and then resell it. We're like GameStop, but for Final Fantasy. All right, enough, enough, enough. Yes, I know the tutorial. All right, let's load our counters back up again. Uh, yeah, let's get the expensive stuff up there. Uh, the old muffler. Uh, two pairs of sandals? Nah. Let's get the slime fluid there. I don't know if anyone actually will buy slime fluid. But we can try. What do you got? Old muffler. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I told you he doesn't have a lot of money. Well, cheapskate. Boy, I wouldn't have put that in the front window if I knew the realized the base price is that low. Leather armor. Now that's more like it. Now she, uh, young young girls don't have a lot of money either, so. There we go. Sell it to you for a little on the cheaper side. Old guys have decent cash. Nice! Powerful anti-venom. That is more like it. 118. There we go. Come on, someone buy the statue. Oh, buy the statue. Please buy the stat. Oh, or the slime fluid. Yeah. You know, I'm going to try and hit you with a 30. Nope. All right, 120. Yeah, see, I didn't get the just combo because he had to haggle me down. Dang. All right, we are almost done here. Let's get some sandals up here. Get the chestnut up here. Slime fluid, slime fluid. All right, one more day of, one more night rather. Uh, evening of it. And she wants a chestnut. All right. We can do that. Cash money in the bank. Someone buy that statue. Hey! Ooh, hey, you're buying a weapon. I don't know if you can actually use that weapon, but uh, I'll certainly uh, sell it to, to you for that much. Yeah, one 10% ten, 10 is about as much as he can absorb. Dang it! Didn't get as many customers. Alright, good cash money in the bank. Day four. Let's see if they're going to introduce a new concept to us. Nope, not yet. Alright, we uh, let's top off our inventory. Uh, we're going to go to the Merchant's Guild. 
and buy some more goodies. Let's see. Let's get some. Let's get some higher, higher priced stuff. Um, and also, let's hope uh, our swordsman comes out comes out here to buy those because uh, we kind of want him to. Uh, wooden chest piece. Yeah, let's get that one. Ooh, iron armor. Iron arm band. We already have the common shield. Although he has, he doesn't have one equipped. So let's buy one of those. I hope I can liquidate all this uh, warrior's helm. This might be a bad idea, uh, uh, spending this much cash. All right. First off, let's replace these star items with uh, some really good stuff. Get that slime crap out of here. Um, yeah, we don't need two sets of sandals out there. Let's get the shield up there. That chestnut, uh, let's get the helmet there. Although we have two hats. Although, well, hmm. Now nah, we'll keep that as is. All right, I think we're good. All right, now we've got some serious merchandise. Let's see if we can't sell some of it. Oh, please buy one of the big warriors. Wooden chest piece, yes! 110 for you, my friend. So he will come uh, equipped with that chest piece uh, next time I take him out into the uh, in, into the uh, dungeons here. All right, ooh, summer sandals. Let's see if I can hit you with a 25. Yes! I smell the sale. Making our cash back. Someone buy the statue. Buy the statue? Ah, he's selling me something. Well, you know what? We could use a cherry. Um, let's try that. So, yeah, that we spent money on. Uh, but it's now we can resell it for something, for a uh, profit. Ooh. -hoo. Yes, sir. Big cash money in the bank right there. And since you only get so many sales per time period, uh, having your having more expensive items, it makes the oh, and yeah, your uh, your mother-in-law asked for that. Are you sure you're not buying that uh, for for your mother-in-law? Ah, dang it, got a little greedy. Lost my combo. All right, still not too shabby, and we've got some backup. Yes, I have. Customers know what they want when they come in. Ah, so they are introducing yet another gameplay mechanic. This has a little bit of papers, please, to it, where every day that you go in there, things get a bit more complex. So now you're going to have customers come in that they want to buy something, but they're not sure what. Uh, and they'll start asking for, you know, sort of a certain class. Like, do you have a, uh, do you have a hat of some sort? And then you can show them the hat. Um, but only if you're stocking it. This is where having a wide variety of item types comes into play. Because if you have nothing but swords and they come in and say, I want a hat, then, uh, then they're, you're, they're not going to find what they want. And you're not going to get a sale. Uh, and then you can sort of steer them towards certain, uh, certain items. Right, right, right. Blah, blah, blah. All right, let's, uh, so again, want to make sure we maximize, ooh, let's get that cherry out there. So we can, uh, that cloth hat. Oh, so sandals, because we, we don't have any footwear. Yeah, why not the cloth hat? And we'll get the slime fluid out there. All right, I think we've got a good variety of items here. So let us open the store again. I'd like a hat. See? He, he doesn't know what he wants, so you got to steer him towards it. Uh, we're going to him, steer him towards this cloth hat. Um, 
And yeah, sometimes you get it right and it's like, yeah, that's what he was looking for. And let's go for 125, since he seems a little bit more... If you can bullseye, if you can bullseye what they're looking for, they might be a little bit more willing to pay more for it. So yeah, good liquidation on that hat. Yes. Can we liquidate that for that? Ah, dang it. Got a little greedy. Got a little greedy. See, and if you always were selling everything at uh, 30%, you'd be getting a lot more rejections. All right, what do you want? Ah, you're uh, you're selling me something. That's fair enough. Um, I'd like to, let's try seventy. You can usually go a little bit lower for when they try and sell you stuff. And he is uh, trying to sell me an apple. Fair enough. All right, somebody, yeah, more, co yeah, you can see the shop's a lot more, has a lot more people in it. He wants to buy a treasure. He wants to buy a treasure, like, say, a thankful statue. Yes! Oh, sweet nectar. <laughs> I'm not going to get too greedy here. I don't have that kind of money. Yeah, we might, uh... He might not, he just might not have that kind of cash. Like, like I said, some, some people only have so much. Let's try it for that. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, the old guy type does not quite have the cash to buy that. Maybe I should have gone under 5,000. Aha! That cherry, our resale. So we bought that thing for like, what, 500? And now we're gonna kick it up, uh, kick it up to, um, ooh, let's say a thousand, thousand eighty. That's better. Oh, hello, little lady. Walnut bread. Oh, what should I pay? Yeah, she's selling this to me. Sometimes it can get a little confusing, especially if that's an item you already have. Uh, we'll pay 70 for it. Bingo! Alright, not too shabby, not too shabby. Let's go one more thing before we call it a day. Let's put that chocolate bar up there. Hmm, I don't want, to, I don't want two food items in there in the front. Let's, uh... No, no, no. Go. Here. Back. Back. Thank you. Put that there. Um, that helmet. That helmet will be good. Slime fluid, warrior's helm, and common shield. Yeah, we got plenty of other goodies. So let's open the store for another night of shopping. Suddenly need some food. I can help you with that. Oh yeah, you can also go back, go and, uh, well, you know what? I'm not going to sell the chocolate bar because someone else is probably going to uh, ask for that. Let's go for the apple because we actually don't have that on the shelves. Yeesh. Although, like she was saying, sometimes they're sniffing out a bargain. They'll say, oh, can you go less? And they actually, actually are willing to pay it at that price. Uh, so they're just trying to trick you to go lower. But I got the extra bonus uh, XP there, which means I hit her. I was pretty close to her price. Ooh, all right. You're buying that shield. Hoping Mr. Warrior Man was going to be the one buying it. All right. He'll take it. What do you want? Oh, see, I knew someone was going to buy that chocolate bar. Let's do 115 for her. Trying to get ourselves up to level four here. All right, our warrior is back in town. Ah, uh, some food. Dang it. Well, we can certainly sell you some food. Why don't you get the better food, too? Well, 
one ten for you. Well, bam! And level four. It looks like Tear's whacking him with a brush. He's selling us an unthankful statue. Uh, yeah, I ain't paying much for that thing. Yeah, it's just the same thing as the thankful statue, but with the head broken off. Understandably, uh, worth much less. All right, folks. Well, we have, uh, we've got ourselves, uh, our shop up and running, and I think this has been a good preview of the game. So, as always with the Payton Star Play series, if you want to see more of this, if you want to see a proper strategy and tactics of this game, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and most importantly, share it with your friends. The more views this video gets, the more the more I know that my audience is inclined to want to see more of this, and the more likely I am to turn this game into a proper strategy and tactics series. Uh, so, until next time, this has been Pinstar, signing out. See ya!